In this video, we'll see how we can get the parametric equation of an ellipse if its center is at the origin of the coordinate system and if the x-axis is the major axis of the ellipse. Just as we did in previous videos, we'll say that our ellipse intersects the x-axis at negative a and a and the y-axis at negative b and b. If we take the circle of radius a, we can get our ellipse by shrinking that circle in the y direction. In doing so, we shrink this line segment of length a to this line segment of length b, which means that b over a is the scale factor in the y direction. Let's look at a point on the circle and its x and y coordinates. When we shrink the circle in the y direction, the x coordinate doesn't change, but the y coordinate is multiplied by the scale factor. If we call the point on the ellipse P and the corresponding point on the circle P prime, then the x coordinate of P is equal to the x coordinate of P prime, while the y coordinate of P is equal to B over A times the y coordinate of P prime. We'll now use the fact that p prime is on the circle of radius a. If we call this angle theta, then the x coordinate of p prime is equal to a times the cosine of theta, and the y coordinate of p prime is equal to a times the sine of theta. Now the x coordinate of p is equal to the x coordinate of p prime, so it's equal to a times the cosine of theta and the y coordinate of p is equal to b over a times the y coordinate of p prime, which is equal to b times the sine of theta. Since p can be anywhere on the ellipse, then coordinates of any point on the ellipse can be expressed as a times the cosine of theta and b times the sine of theta. We just have to keep in mind that the parameter theta isn't the angle between the positive part of the x-axis and OP, rather it's the angle between the positive part of the x-axis and OP prime. 